Catholic Mass conducted in Japanese in a hillside cathedral in Nagasaki. This was the first ceremony to mark today's anniversary and perhaps the most poignant. The cathedral, now rebuilt, was at the epicenter of the atomic explosion, which killed more than half Nagasaki's 14,000 Catholics. One of my friends asked me, look at the sky, something dropping. Then I pushed my eyes and ears strongly and lay down on the ground. But before that, yellow, yellow flash came out. A face in the crowd at this week's anniversary ceremonies in Hiroshima and Nagasaki has been that of Jacob Biza. A radar expert, he was the only man to fly in the bombers that hit both cities. I, I, I freely admit that uh, on the way home from Hiroshima, I hoped that it, you know, we wouldn't have to do it too often. And on the way home from Nagasaki, I was convinced in my own mind that uh, I hope we never have to do it again. But if there had been two more, I'd have gone two more times. It was my job. I think the, this is a very cruel experiment of nuclear aid. Today, those who survived that final devastating bomb gathered before the towering peace monument in Nagasaki to pay their respects to the dead. For those who lived through the atomic bomb, the years have done little to dull the memories.